All right, let's dive into the fascinating world of X-ray tube production. Picture this. It all begins with the creation of a vacuum chamber, where the magic truly starts. This chamber is designed to eliminate air, allowing electrons to travel freely without any interference. <gasps> now, once we have our vacuum, we introduce the cathode and anode. The cathode, my friends, is where the electrons are generated. It heats up, releasing these tiny particles which then zoom towards the anode. This is where the real action happens. The anode is typically made of a heavy metal like tungsten because it can withstand the high temperatures and provides the necessary target for the electrons. The physical principles at play here are nothing short of mesmerizing. We're talking about the conversion of kinetic energy into electromagnetic radiation. It's all about those technical requirements, precision engineering, 